I am so excited about our next guest for so many reasons. I would say probably oh, 12, 15 years ago, I was handed a tape. Yeah, for all of you youngins out there, a tape, a tape actually had tape on it. It went from one reel to another. And uh, it, was, it was entitled Dead Doctors Don't Lie. And that was such an eye-opening experience for me. There was information in there that I just found absolutely fascinating. And when we started doing this show, uh, obviously our focus is, is mainly on freedom, politics, business, relationships, stuff like that. And because of the business slant, I wanted to profile business opportunities for all of our listeners. I mean, we were very unique in radio in the fact that we're hosted by a, a, a business trainer. So we get lots of requests from people say, hey, you know, I, I get it, Josh. I understand I need to start a business. What should I start? So we try to profile opportunities. And today we get to mix the two. We get to have that doctor who created Dead Doctors Don't Lie, and we're not only going to talk about information that affects your health, but we're going to talk about information that affects your wallet. So joining us today is Dr. Joel Wallach. Now, Dr. Joel Wallach has been uh, in the biomedical research industry for a very long time, spent 40 years in the field of veterinary medicine, observing and researching the effects of uh, individual nutrients on, hu on health. Then he became a nat naturopathic physician for humans back in 1982. And today his, his work is, like I said, absolutely groundbreaking. And he joins us today. Dr. Wallach, how are you doing, sir? Thank you so much, Josh. I appreciate your hospitality. Well, it is a pleasure having you here. I mean, in, in a world where people are worried about health care costs, I think the number one thing you need to do is not get sick in the first place, right? You're exactly right. Uh, you know, we spend more money for health care every year, Josh, than all the other nations in the world combined. Not more than any other nation, more than all the nations combined. And what do we get for that? Uh, we are ranked 92nd in the world in healthfulness. There's 91 other countries whose people are healthier than us. We rank 60th in longevity. There's 59 other countries in the world who live longer than us. God forgive us, we rank 41st when it comes to live births and first month survivability of our babies. The medical system has failed us terribly, and they're finally doing a major collapse. And, of course, uh, the scary thing is the predictions by the academic medical people is that 50% of Americans will be standing at gravesite burying their children before they die because the kids are not going to live as long as us, so we keep following the same path. That is absolutely appalling. And what you just said makes me think, you know, there's a lot of discussion. Since we did have Super Tuesday yesterday, there's a lot of discussion out there about the course of health care in this country. And, folks, you have to be reminded that even if, even if you are of the ilk that the government should take it over, they're still taking over the same system which created the, the 60th country in longevity. So it, it, it's beyond who runs it. It's what they're actually running. Well, yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, it's, a, it's a failed experiment that says that insurance is the most important thing in your life, health insurance, because insurance, uh, health insurance does not prevent disease, does not cure disease. It only pays the doctor when you mess up. And so when you look at it, it's very tragic. We wrecked this country financially to make sure that everybody has health benefits. Uh, remember Ross Perot back in 1992, and he said, if anybody signs NAFTA, you're going to hear this giant sucking sound as all the jobs leave America. And as soon as Billy Clinton signed NAFTA, sure enough, all the jobs left America because they could go to India, Indonesia, China, and pay a lot less money for, per hour for, for um, uh, people's labor, but also didn't have to pay health care benefits. And that's what drove the American manufacturing assembly jobs out of America was the cost, the high cost of very expensive, very dangerous health care benefits. Now, you said very dangerous. Why is, why is the health care itself dangerous? Well, uh, this is, again, statistics from the Center for Disease Control, our federal agency in Atlanta, Georgia, that tracks these kind of statistics. So this is not me. I'm just repeating what they say, all published front-page stories on newspapers. And what they said in uh, 2007, uh, Josh, is that um, the medical system in America kills, injured, and infects 15 million of their customers, their patients, in their workplace every year, and they don't get an OSHA ticket. They don't get an OSHA ticket because OSHA deals with employers and employees. So the medical system has been able to kill, injure, and infect 15 million Americans every year in their workplace, and they get a walk. They've been able to kill 15,000 Medicare that patients every month, according to the auditor for Medicare. Every month, medical doctors kill 15,000 patients in hospitals that are Medicare patients. They get a walk. Every year, medical doctors infect 2 million people in hospitals, 90,000 die, and they get a walk. Now, if the airlines were to infect 2 million people, 90,000 die every year, nobody would fly. 
is the airlines were to kill, injure, and infect 15 million of their customers every year, their passengers every year, nobody w- would fly, Josh. Well, that's absolutely right. And if people went to a restaurant and 15,000 people were given E. coli, they'd be shut down. And it, it's one of these things where we have a double standard. And to just clarify the point, it's not like these people are coming in with a gunshot wound to, to the head and they happen to die in the hospital. These are people who are actually, because of what the medical care industry is doing, getting... Josh, these are people who go in for screening tests. I'll give you a famous example. You ever remember Andy Rooney from 60 Minutes? Sure. Yeah, he retired um, in September of 2011. He died a month later at age 92. He died a month later. And what did he die from? He died from, quote, complications of a um, minor medical procedure. He died of complications of a minor medical procedure. They won't tell you what it is, but I guarantee it was a colonoscopic exam. They punctured his intestines. He died of, of peritonitis, which is an infection of the belly cavity. And they don't want to tell you what it is because they don't want everybody in America canceling their colonoscopic exams. Wow, unreal. Now, I remember when I first... Yeah, well, exactly. And and part of it's because the huge industry that's behind it. And I remember when I first listen to uh, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, you said something on there that kind of hit home because I'm, I'm originally from Wisconsin, a lot of cows here, and you pointed out that when you purchase livestock, one of the first things you do is get a salt lick, and I'm like, wow, that makes sense. So if, if the obvious seems so obvious to everybody who's not in medicine, what are we missing in medicine that it would have been common sense? Okay, very good. Good observation, Josh. Very good. You're smarter than the average bear, that's for sure. And that is that um, in 14 years of medical school, medical doctors only get 30 minutes of nutrition. They don't even get a test on that. The basic stuff of life is what we eat. It's not what you eat that, that makes importance. It's what you absorb that makes your life better. And in the, again, in the animal industry, just through super nutrition, um, additives of vitamins and minerals, trace minerals and rare earths, we've tripled lifespans of animals. We've eliminated 900 different diseases. We've eliminated all birth defects you can name and 10 times that many you can't. And so what we're going to do is teach people how to prevent and reverse as many as 900 different diseases on their, their own dime. They can do it at home. Uh, their own physicals will cost them three dollars and seventy nine cents. No possibility of danger, and they will add twenty five to fifty healthful years to their life. More importantly, they'll add twenty five to fifty healthful years of their kids and grandkids' life. And we have to do it because the medical system has failed us so terribly, and that's because they've left out the most important piece of a human's life, and that is or the food that we consume. You cannot get all the 90 essential nutrients from your food. We, we need 90 essential nutrients. We need 60, 6 O minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids. And I can tell you when all this went in the tank, I can tell you exactly the second when we threw the baby out with the bathwater. And, Josh, it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4th, 1882, when a guy by the name of Thomas Edison pulled the switch and turned on the first commercial electric generating plant on Pearl Street in New York City. Before that, we are putting wood ashes from our wood fires and wood stoves into our gardens, which was our source of minerals. We're putting Well, Doctor, meal. hold on right there. Hold on right there. We're up against a break. We'll continue this conversation with Dr. Joel Wallach right after this. Time I was on my way. Want to be the smartest person you know? Then keep listening. This is the Josh Tully Show on GCN Radio Network. We are talking to Dr. Joel Wallach, founder of Longevity, a pioneer in education, really, in, in terms of what it is that makes us healthy. And this is the way I'm starting to look at health. Your car has gas and oil, right? Uh, the gas is, is your fuel, and to us, the food is our fuel. And the oil is our blood. Now, as a medical profession, we, we seem to be worried about what sort of bumper looks the best or maybe, you know, what sort of window tinting we should have. And we've completely forgotten how to fill up our car. And I could be off base, doctor, but th- th- that's the way I see it. And when we went into the break, you were starting to, to get to a very important event when we moved away from putting ashes from our wood burners into our gardens. Exactly right, Josh. Um, this is how people sustain themselves for their mineral source 
uh, for the, since the beginning of time was wood ashes. And when we went from wood stoves to electricity and propane and natural gas, we threw the baby out with the bathwater. Nobody sat down and said, well, wait a minute, before we make the switch so quickly, what is it that we were benefiting? Why were we putting the wood ashes into the garden? And it, they failed that piece. We're suffering egregiously for it. Um, we actually uh, can eliminate, again, as many as 900 different diseases. Uh, we can eliminate all birth defects. And certainly uh, we can reverse most diseases by supplementing with these 90 for life nutrients. And we've come up with a program we call the Healthy Start Pack. And again, I personally get nothing from this. I don't make any salary. I don't make any commissions. I don't make any bonuses. I make nothing because I want people to make sure that they're going to do this because it's right for them to save them and their kids and grandkids add 25 to 50 healthy years to their life and uh, eliminate all these terrible diseases. We had so many people that have type 2 diabetes were able to, in, in 2 to 14 days, wean them off their medication and go back to a normal life. People cancel their double foot amputations. They cancel their, their arthritis, uh, double knee surgery, double knee replacement surgery, uh, hip, place, uh, hip replacements, back surgery, by taking this 90 for Life program appropriate for the health problem because it's a little bit different. It's a basic program, the Healthy Start Pack, and then a, a secret sauce for each nutrient. We're going to teach them how to do this. The, the training is free, Josh. I mean, you can't get any better than that. No, you can't get and better than free. <laughs> can't get better than free. And if they want to do this as a business and help other people, it's a one-time fee of $10, a one-time fee of $10. That gets them to the point where they can uh, do this as a business. Otherwise, uh, they can just get the products wholesale. We never sell the products retail. It's only wholesale. And, again, I make nothing from it. And the whole idea here is to save America through financial means and through the health means. Well, and I, I love both of those aspects, and that's definitely something I want to dig into in a little bit. And I'm going to give you a phone number, so grab a pen, everybody. It's uh, 855-799-6864, 855-799-6864. Now, Doctor, b before we get into really how how people can get those products and what they can do, let's, let's talk a little bit about what those products are. I mean, you, you've talked a little bit about minerals. Everybody's heard, you know, take your, your Flintstone vitamin or whatever, get your vitamins and minerals. What role do minerals play in our lives? Because I remember recently hearing you say something about the average professional athlete has a, a shorter life expectancy than the American couch potato. How are these things related? Okay, well, the average couch potato in America lives to be about 78, Josh. The average professional football player has lived to be 51, according to, to um, life insurance actuaries. Combined, all sports combined, the average lifespan of a professional athlete is 62, with the exception of a couple of black guys in the old Negro Baseball League days back in the 1920s. There's never been a professional athlete lived to be 100. That tells you there's something wrong with that concept that exercise is healthful. Well, exercise is healthful only if you supplement with the 90 essential nutrients. Because when you're exercising, Josh, or even doing physical work in your, your trade, you're sweating. And um, when you sweat, you're not sweating out water. You're sweating out a soup of all the 90 essential nutrients, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids. If you drink only water or those sports drinks or energy drinks that have only two uh, nutrients in them, you're going to die early because you're losing your, your nutrient reserves. And so we've come up with systems that will actually keep those nutrient reserves for all 90 essential nutrients so they're overfilling. In other words, you're, you're going to be full of those nutrients all the time, and you're going to be able to do your physical work without fear of losing these nutrients and not getting them back. And so this is and our you know, goal the... here. And uh, we're able to I deal in, uh, a lot with professional athletes. I'm the guy that got Theo Ratliff, whose career was over 12 years ago in, in the NBA, at age 28 years old, had bone-to-bone -bone arthritis in both knees. He was so fragile, he catches passes and fractures wrists, played for the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, his career was over, according to the orthopedic surgeons uh, for the Atlanta Hawks, and I rebuilt him in 90 days. He went on to, uh, he just re retired. He's working with the uh, Players Union now, and uh, he actually uh, has made $140 million in contracts since they told him his, his um, a career was over. Evander Holyfield, you know, he had his heart attack during that championship sure. fight. A year later, he came back, passed all the physicals for the boxing commissions, and went and fought for eight more years and won and lost the championship several times. And I'm, I'm the guy that rebuilt here. his heart. And I do this with Olympic uh, uh, players, too, some that have th as many as three gold medals. I'm um, their nutrition guy. And uh, they've made their three gold medals in um, Olympic basketball, in Americans' um, uh, women's basketball team, using our 90 for Life program. 
So now this 90 for Life program that gets us back into uh, having a, a full regiment of, of things that we need that nobody told us we ever needed, what kind of things can this help with? Obviously, we can't say anything is a cure, right? And we can't say anything well, animals, you know, can say is a promise. Cure. For instance, the 90 for Life, the system we set up is exactly like we use in the animal industry. Remember, I'm a veterinarian and a physician. And so I've used all the techniques that we've spent $100 billion on. We've spent $100 billion, Josh, eliminating 900 different diseases in animals and tripling their lifespan. So I took that technique and developed it for humans. And I'm here to tell you that it doesn't matter if you have type 2 diabetes, which makes up 99% of the diabetic population in America. I don't care if you have brittle diabetes, you're on four different drugs, your, your blood sugar is 300 even with insulin, your A1C hemoglobin is 14 Within 30 to 60 days, everything comes right. Your A1C hemoglobin is down around 5 or 6. Uh, your blood sugar is down to 68. You weaned off your medication go back to normal life. It is very, it's very dramatic, and we do this thousands of times a month because we're in 50 countries, and people get to travel to these countries. They can build their businesses in these countries and help other people, and, of course, it's legitimately tax-deductible. Now, let's talk a little bit about, because you, you brought up diabetes, let's talk a little bit about um, weight gain. We've seen weight gain as just epidemic in this country. Even though the push to eat better and get thinner is, is there, it's everywhere you turn, we're getting larger and larger anyway. What's behind that? Well, Josh, we're the number one obese nation in the world. Remember, we spend more money for health care than all the other nations in the world combined each year. Yet we're the number one obese nation in the world. That tells you the medical theory and the government's theory for what causes obesity is wrong. Uh, I deal with people who are 500, 600, 700 pounds, and we're able to, within two years, get them down to whatever their weight should be, 150, 200 pounds, depending on their height, and very safely, uh, without surgery. And this is all done with nutrition, because when you have uh, a problem with weight gain and you're obese, guess what? Regardless of age, you're deficient in nutrients. It's a nutritional deficiency. And the reason why the government and the, and the medical system can't solve the problem is because exercise did not make you lose weight. Uh, the um, Loyola University in Chicago came out in January of 2009 and says exercise won't make you lose weight. It was a cover article in Time magazine, August of 2009. Exercise is great, but it won't make you lose weight. The cover article, Time magazine, August 2009. And that's because uh, exercise is wrong. You sweat more, you lose more minerals, you get hungrier, you eat more. And so it's absolutely essential uh, you take the 90 for life, and then we have a sports drink with 100 nutrients in it, and you will lose weight. You will lose weight if you need to lose weight. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. When you take the right nutrients, you lose weight. Now this, the, see, you, you're absolutely fascinating. The more I talk to you, the more questions I seem to have. Now, isn't it true that the, the guy behind the jogging phase, didn't he die young too because of the same mineral deficiency <laughs> problem? Absolutely. Jim Fix died at age 52 while he was training for the Olympics, in the marathon, he halfway during his run in September of 1982, Jim Fix, age 52, drops dead of a cardiomyopathy heart attack, which is a deficiency of, the, of a single mineral called selenium. And I've actually done autopsies on 1,200 kids that died of this disease, cardiomyopathy heart disease, a selenium deficiency because they're overactive, and guess what? No selenium. Well, doctor, we are up against another break. They seem to go fast on topics like this. We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere. We find ourselves living in chaotic times. I don't care what political affiliation you, you think you are loyal to or, or whatever uh, socioeconomic loyalties you have, you have to admit that we are living in chaotic times. And in those times, there are two things that we need to take care of. We need to take care of our health, and we need to take care of our, our resources. And in the modern world, our resources is money. So we have to take a look at the health of both of those systems in our life in order to have an impact on the people around us. And remember, I said in order to fix the country, we have to fix ourselves. We have to rebuild our communities. Now, this is why I love having people like Dr. Joel Wallach on the program. Not only is his health information par excellence, but he's tied to a business that allows you to get in business for yourself. Remember how I told you that free enterprise is the fuel for freedom? If we lose free enterprise, we will lose freedom regardless of the little uh, letter after your, your candidate's name. When we lose that, we lose the country. 
Your founding fathers died not for religious liberty. They've had that for over 100 years. They died for the ability of ownership, ownership of their lives, of their property, and of their business. Now, the great thing about talk, talking to Dr. Joel Wallach is he allows us an opportunity to live that out too. So I want you to grab a pen. I'm going to give you a phone number. It's 855-799-6864. And, Doctor, so we know we need these, these uh, 90 essential uh, elements that are in your product. Got it. Tell us a little bit about the business opportunity that's tied to it. Okay, well, thank you, Josh. Uh, back in um, uh, 1982, I was a widower at the time. Uh, I was in medical school and teaching nutrition to medical students, and uh, I had four little kids I had to deal with, and I needed to make extra income. I didn't have time for another job, obviously, and so I got um, interested in direct um, uh, marketing, uh, network marketing, if you will, and learned that I could teach somebody something once or twice. They would uh, go out and take it and help other people with their health, and th then I would get a little commission based on their volume. That was very exciting to me, and I actually made millions of dollars doing that and uh, actually started my own business uh, back in um, uh, 19, uh, well, I guess it was actually 1997. started my own business in 1997, and uh, it was just one of the most wonderful things I've ever done because it allowed me to have other people go out and help other people with their health and also their finances. And uh, this just made sense to me that I needed an army because I was just uh, one guy uh, in, in clinical practice at the time, and I, I, could, I couldn't help everybody I needed to help. And so I needed to build an army of people, and I, I got money back for myself for helping them learn how to take care of themselves and the people they cared about. And if they really wanted to uh, get out and do something, uh, they would be rewarded handsomely for it. And so I thought it was a great way to do it. It was a small investment. I had one guy. Uh, it was actually a $6 to start uh, our business, a one-time fee of 6 bucks back then in 1997. And he couldn't afford the $6. He, he was a little pastor in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Couldn't, couldn't afford the $6. So he and his four kids went out in the median of the highway for three days, collected aluminum cans, raised the 6 bucks, came and joined us. And for the last... Um, uh, 15 years, he's been making a six-figure income from me and um, and being able to pastor his church and not worry about the financial collapse of his church. And so these are the sort of stories we have. Today, it's a one-time fee of $10. We give the training for nothing. The training's absolutely free. And we actually, my wife and I actually wrote a book called Wall Street for Kids. And even though the title implies it was written for kids, it was actually written for parents and grandparents to share and read to the kids and get into business with their kids and grandkids, teach them the entrepreneurial methods here in the United States, which made America great. And this is what's been lost because we were taught yes. falsely, get a good job, uh, get a good education, get a good job, and everything will be fine. Well, there's a piece missing. In the old days, when people got a good job, they also owned five acres and a mule, and they could uh, grow their own food, and, and we're still um, in control of their own destiny. Well, today, people live in cities. And they work, and if they get fired, they have nothing to fall back on. And so if you build your uh, longevity business for one-time fee is $10, uh, you will make a safe haven for your kids, your grandkids, and yourself. Uh, what a great thing to do is to help other people with their health and get paid for it. Well, absolutely. And when I go and, and do speaking events for, for business leaders, whether they're in um, the direct sales industry or not. I always take with me a book that I got from the 1920s. It's a seventh grade textbook. It's about an, maybe an inch thick. And the first chapter is how to hire your first employee. The second chapter, setting up distribution streams. And it goes on and on. And I could teach an entire coursework based on that seventh grade textbook. And today we have seventh grade textbooks that are four inches thick. They weigh two and a half tons. And it's just repetition, repetition. We used to teach entrepreneurship in this country. And it's no longer taught. And that's why I'm such a fan of industries such as yours. Not everybody has a million dollars to start a great franchise. Not everybody has the the training or the background to invest tens of thousands of dollars starting a, a sole proprietorship. And the great thing about your industry is that you have a model for other people to follow. And I love that idea. I love the idea that people can start a business, learn from people who've done it before, 
And yeah, there there are corrections that the industry needs to make, but in in general, learn from the people who have gone before and have a viable opportunity to become successful. Well, you're exactly right, and we're so happy right now, Josh, that um, Longevity has been ranked the number one fastest growing um, direct marketing company in America. And that's because we've been around for a long time. As you pointed out, we've been around for 40 years, slowly growing, slowly growing, very consistent, almost boring, if you will. But three years ago, when the collapse came, uh, we suddenly became thrust on the public scene because of, of the ability to eliminate as many as 900 different diseases, which is a big um, which is a big thing. I mean, we can save America financially if everybody would do the longevity uh, thing as just a customer and save themselves when it comes to health care. There's no insurance policies that prevent or cure diseases, so people have to take care of themselves, and especially if they've lost their jobs and, and lost their insurance coverage. So what we teach people to do is take this knowledge they get for themselves and share it with other people. We give them a tool uh, called the CD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, as you point out, we want them to hand these out, get the people's information, and call them back in a couple of days and actually answer questions that they will have, and then people will almost always sign up as a customer or get into the business. And, uh, again, if a customer is free to get into the business. It's a one-time $10 fee, and it's just that simple. Well, and it's it's one of these things that families are really looking at right now. I remember when I started my career, I was sitting down from a couple, and this was in, in good economic times. I was about 20, 21 years old. They were in their mid-30s. I was sitting down across the table from them, explaining to them how we can, can help them get into business, and I, I didn't have a model like this. I was just doing my own thing, and they started crying. And I asked them, why on earth are you crying? And they said, we've been praying for months for something to come along. And folks, you have no clue. When I go out there and speak now, there are people hurting from coast to coast and around the world. They're all looking for solutions. And it's time we start putting on our big boy pants and saying, you know what, I'm going to take control of this myself. I'm going to take control of my health. I'm going to take control of my financial future. And if this is something that allows you the opportunity to do that, it's something that you really need to look into. So once again, I'm going to give you that phone number. It's 855-799-6864. Now, doctor, can we keep you on for one more segment? Because I, I want to now tie the, the business side into the health side and paint a picture of what the future can look like. Okay, we're sure. We would appreciate doing that, Josh. Uh, just appreciate you and your audience, and, and we'll make it happen. Well, let me ask, let me ask you this question be, before we go to the break as, as sure. kind of a teaser. You're okay. talking about how the, the couch potatoes have lived longer than athletes and the couch potatoes have it wrong. How long do you think we could extend human life if we got this down right? Well, experts in anti-aging tell us now we have the capacity right now. We know how to live well beyond 150. Again, I'm Whoa. 72. I haven't been to a doctor in 64 years unless something really tragic happens on an airplane or something. I fully expect to live to be 150, maybe more. And so we have the nutritional technology. We know how to do this. And it's kind of like putting oil in your car, as you pointed out. You put oil in your car to prevent the engine from burning up. You change the oil every 3,000 miles. You add 300,000 um, useful miles to that engine. If, why would you wait? Why would you wait to put all in your car until the engine burns up to save a dollar ninety nine? And so we've learned that by eliminating diseases before they happen, certainly we have the capacity to reverse diseases after they happen, but it's much more economical to prevent diseases from happening. And this is what we teach. We want people to give a longevity business for birthdays and Christmas and when there's office exchanges and presents. We want people to give that ten dollar longevity business, give them a hundred bucks worth of product, get them going in the system. Don't give them a Macy's gift card. Don't give them a Costco's gift card or gas card because by adding 25 to 50 healthy years to their life, giving them a business, getting them into the entrepreneurial stream of America, we can together save America. And I really appreciate you for that, Josh. Amen. We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Just imagine being able to live into your 70s, your 80s, your 90s, and have a, a quality of life while you're there. You know, it, it disheartens me so often when I see people who work so hard for 40, 50 years at their career. They'll retire at 65, 70. 
Well, actually, latest reports actually show that your odds of dying at work are going up. But anyway, they'll they live until 80 maybe, so that they spend the last 10 years of their life with any form of freedom, but they do it in such poor health that a lot of people say, well, I wish I would just die before I get there. How sad is it that we're actually wishing to die? And it's all because we don't understand our health. So we're, we're talking about that, and we're also talking about the wallet so you can have something to do while you're retired. We're talking to Dr. Joel Wallach, who's the founder of Longevity. Doc, tell us a little bit about how this can, this can enhance the quality of life when people age, because the, the, like it or not, we're heading towards old age, all of us, whether we're 2 or we're 42. <laughs> You're exactly right. Everybody ages every day. There's no doubt about it. And the beauty of the longevity business, uh, Josh, is that we teach people how to be healthy, how to add 25 to 50 healthful years to their life. And, uh, again, the beauty of this is you're, you're building up a willable asset. You're building a business that grows. And as it grows, you're building this willable asset. And you're going to begin to work with your kids and your grandkids, your nieces and nephews, your own brothers and sisters. People in your longevity business become part of your expanded family. And as a result, uh, you can go anywhere in the world and, and stay with or visit people who are in your business. It's legitimately tax deductible. And then when the time comes, you can either sell your business, give your business to the people in your family you love, or sell it to them, uh, will it to them, however you want to do it, whichever makes sense for your uh, retirement part, Felio. And, uh, and we have people who have been with me for, oh, gosh, uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 20, 25 years. And as they retire, as they've begun to retire, I have one gal who's 100. She'll, she's turning 100 years old in June. She's been with me for 15 years, Josh. She started when she was 85. Wow. And she actually runs her own business. She lives in her home by herself. She, most people think she's 70 years old. She's so active and looks so good after 15 years on her products. You'll be hearing this story. It's going to be a big national, international story. And um, uh, uh, her name is uh, Crudella Evans. She lives in, in uh, Texas. What a wonderful lady. She's turning 100. She has the greatest retirement of any 100-year-old. No nursing home for her. No retirement center for her. No hospice for her. And she's there with her kids and her grandkids and great-grandkids and great-great-grandkids. And they're all working together in her business, and she's going to then will it to her family. What a great thing to do. What a great scenario. Well, what a great story. I mean, what it, I mean if, if we're going to be working for something, we might as well know what we're working for. And wouldn't it be nice to be work, working towards freedom, both financially and from this, this health care system, which we pointed out in the first segment of this interview, actually ends up killing a lot of the people that come to it for help? I mean, folks, we, we know we're heading in the wrong direction. Everybody knows it. So you have to do something to take care of yourself, to take care of your family, and then secure resources so you can financially advance your family so when this does collapse, there's at least a little bit of a cushion. You can, you can take that money and convert it into gold and silver or seeds or generators or whatever you want to. But I hear from so many people who are like, Josh, I get it. I need to prepare, but I don't have the money to prepare. Well, here's an opportunity for you to get that money too. You're exactly right, Josh. And the beautiful thing about this is, that when, when the country goes into a financial or health meltdown, you need our business more. And so we exactly. have so many people. We're actually doubling. Every month we're doubling in growth, and that's why we're ranked the number one direct marketing business in America today when it comes to growth. We're so excited about that um, because people need what we have, uh, health care that's very economical. You're looking for an average-sized person who weighs 150 pounds, they can get rid of their diseases for three to five bucks a day. We're talking about half the price of an exotic coffee, right? And um, this is not hard to do this. Little kids, it's going to cost 50 cents a day to get them on this program for their own health. Uh, I have grandkids and great-grandkids who start taking this before they're conceived, through the pregnancy they're developed in. Then the moment they're born, they're taking their own program. So when they need something later on, they say, well, okay, I'll take it, no problem. Absolutely wonderful. And people who listen to this show, depending on where you listen to it, once in a while you'll hear an ad from another host on the same network. His name is Alex Jones. Uh, he has a show that actually airs after ours. And he's had some great health benefits, lost some weight. And uh, tell us some of the other success stories from just average people who've either gotten healthy or lost weight or achieved their health goals. Okay, well, we have a lot of famous people. You know, Andy Young, who is Jimmy Carter's uh Ambassador to the U.N., he was scheduled for a double knee replacement back in 1991. He rebuilt his knees. He's now in his 80s. 
uh, has never had to have joint replacement surgeries. He uh, runs five miles a day. He swims five miles a day. And he's 80 years old. He's just going great. And then we have uh, a billionaire in New York. Uh, I'll tell you, his first name is Steve. He's very shy. Most people don't know him. But he actually owns more property in New York City than Donald Trump, a very wealthy guy. And his uh, personal physician uh, told him, and this guy was, uh, this doctor was uh, Steve's uh, tennis partner and golf partner, and uh, he says, look, Steve, you got an inoperable aortic aneurysm, seven centimeters, nothing we can do about it. You have less than a year to live, and I, I just can't help you. As much as I love you, I can't help you. He accidentally ran into my audio cassette tape, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, in an antique store, played it, <laughs> did what the tape said to do. His aneurysm went away in 90 days, and he finds me. He calls me, right? And we've been best of friends since. And uh, this guy, everybody, his partner in business, we've gotten rid of his partner's diabetes. We've gotten rid of his son's uh, atrial fibrillation. We got rid of his soon-to-be daughter-in-law's uh, arthritis and back problems. Uh, and it's just an amazing thing. So we actually have uh, average people uh, who, you know, have a couple of kids. They've got diabetes. They've got bone-to-bone -bone arthritis, and they really don't want the double knee replacement. Uh, it takes us 60, 90 days to rebuild their uh, cartilage on their knees. We even had some people where they had the meniscus surgically removed, Josh. We rebuilt that, and um, they go on about their lives, and they build their huge longevity businesses, which are going to, again, be able to will to their family. It's a willable asset. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And, and this is just stuff you don't hear coming from the medical community. And it, I'm, I'm in awe not because of any sort of... Uh, endorsement or anything like that i'm in awe because i see people every day hurt i see people who are struggling with weight who are struggling with uh, health issues and to know that we've been misguided we're looking at the wrong things isn't it amazing how we keep better care of our livestock than we do our family and exactly. to see that there's opportunity testimony this sure, is a sure. guy go ahead his name is jerry murphy he owns the third largest medical laboratory in america and he services 7,000 hospitals a day doing their laboratory work. Uh, he had uh, a terrible diabetes. All the medicine, all the endocrinologists, all the specialists, he knew being in this position, only the third largest medical laboratory in America, couldn't resolve his diabetes. We fixed him in 30 days. He's my best friend. He actually works in our booths now at trade shows. He, he helps us load and unload trucks. This guy who owns jet planes, he can fly all over the place, but he's having more fun helping people now doing what we do because he sees what happens in the medical system. Well, it is a blast when you help somebody, especially in a business model like the one we're talking about. When you help somebody else succeed, it gives you this sense in your heart that's even better in a way than your own success. And I know if you don't, if, if you've never experienced what I'm talking about, you're like, yeah, whatever, Josh. I just want money in my wallet. But I am so serious. When you help other people succeed, it's almost like. Um, that expression, it's better to give than to receive. You get that same warm feeling in your heart. Absolutely. And if you're a religious person, it's one of those godly things we're supposed to do unto others we're supposed to do for ourselves. And if we do that, if we help other individuals, we're going to help America. If we help other individuals build their finances to the point where they're safe, we're going to make America safe. And I get excited about that. Absolutely. Now, we're, we're at the end of this segment, and we have to let you go, but I, I want to I tell you, we need to have you back on, because one of the things I want to talk about next time is the connection between our nutrition and the rise of things like uh, ADHD, depression, because there's, I think it's like one in four Americans now are on some sort of antipsychotic medication. I'll give you one more teaser here. Alzheimer's disease is a physician-caused disease. Now I'll show you how to prevent it and how to reverse it. Oh, <laughs> well, all right. Now we have to have you back on. All right, folks, stay where you're at. We'll be back the right GCN after this. GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. $3 and maybe more, depending on the day, you know, what the price of silver is on, on that particular day. But, you know, in real money, the gasoline prices are actually going down. And that was what I, you know, used the other day with Bernanke. You know, when he started at the Fed, an ounce of silver bought four gallons of gasoline. Now an ounce of silver buys 11 gallons of gasoline. So it's the money issue. There are other factors, too. I don't deny that supply and demand of the oil is very important, too, and the potential war in the Middle East and with Iran. That, that's really important, too. But, but overall, see, what, when Gingrich says he's going to get down to a couple dollars, 
he's saying, well, we're going to increase the supply so tremendously we're going to bring it down. But if he doesn't increase the value of the currency, he can't do it. Well, you know, you just hit on something. Um, ah, okay, we don't need focus. to hear the rest. We got it. So we pointed out a couple of things. One, let's work backwards. That even if Newt Gingrich increases the the supply, he's not going to do anything to fix the dollar, which means the price isn't going to go anywhere. And you know that. Matter of fact, all it's really going to do is add more and more markup, and the government's going to get more and more money. So that's really not going to not going to fix anything. And the second thing you pointed out, and I hope you caught it, is that the gas prices right now are actually going down. Even though they're rising. Does that make sense to you? Do you get it? Are you following? Are you tracking us here? The price of gas is going down. Well, Josh, then why am I paying more at the pump? I mean, it, it, it's costing more and more to fill up. Why am I paying so much? Well, you're paying so much is not because of the price of gas went up. It's because the value of your dollar went down. Your value of the dollar went down. When you know that the gas price is actually going down, yet you need to spend more to get it, it should be a red flag to you that we are nanoseconds away from having to wheelbarrow tons of cash into the store just to buy a loaf of bread. I mean, what he said is so profound, it should be played on every network for the rest of the day. This should be a lead story because what he pointed out is alarming. The price of gas is going down, yet you're spending more to get it. That means on a daily basis, on a daily basis, we are watching inflation happen to us in front of our eyes. Let that sink in for a second because I don't think you get, I don't think you get how profound that is. Inflation was supposed to, well, 3% a year, which means it went up fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a penny in the last 24 hours. But that's not what we're seeing. That's not reality. Knowing that the price of gas is going down, we are literally seeing inflation go up in front of our eyes. This should be a warning to you that, hello, the time is now. This should be a warning to you that what uh, Chris Duane and I talk about on this show is happening. This should be a warning to you that you need to call Midas Resources today and buy silver and buy gold. You know, it, the, the days of, well, you're just promoting silver because uh, it's on your, your show. That's gone, folks. This is reality. I told you you were an idiot then, and you're still an idiot. And now if you don't do it, something's wrong with you. We can watch inflation happen in front of our eyes. This, when's the last time this has happened that you can remember? There was that news report that they caught on television where the price of gas went up 10 cents while the reporter was broadcasting her report. She was doing a report about the escalating gas prices, right? And she's sitting there and she's standing, well, here we are, John, and I'm paraphrasing. Here we are, John, and we're in front of Bob's Acme gas station, and, and it, you know, price of gas is $3.70 a gallon, and she's talking. And while she's talking, the price behind her actually went up 10 cents. And if it's true, and it is, that the, gas, that the price of gas is actually going down, then what you're seeing is money crumble daily. That means what you start out, really, this is what it means. If you started making uh, $10 an hour at 8 o'clock this morning, by the end of your shift, you're down to 980 Do you understand this? And yeah, the math might be wrong. It might be 982 and some change or whatever. But you, the, the point is the same. You, you're actually making less by the end of your shift than you did when you started today. This is why it is so vitally important that you figure out how to take control of your financial income. This is why entrepreneurship is so vitally important. This is why sustained growth in business is so vitally important. See, the key behind why entrepreneurship is successful, it allows you to have tremendous growth. It allows you to get ahead of that inflationary curve. If, if inflation goes up 9 to 10 to 12 percent this year, which it has done ever since the 1800s, and your income went up 50, 60, 80% this year, then you became wealthier, didn't you? When you have growth in your business, like let's just take, for example, um, widgets, okay? You invest $10 to start a widget business. You make 20 widgets at $10. 
you now have two hundred dollars well your ten dollars turned into two hundred dollars inflation's not going to go up to match so you're ahead of the curve the problem comes in in businesses when they were successful for a few years and they're like wow whew, we were ahead of the curve baby we made it we're making money now and then they get complacent and think that they don't need to grow well guess what the beast of inflation is still on your tail and unless your business is growing 10 percent every single year you're going backwards I don't care if you're a mom and pop on Main Street or you're Coca-Cola based in Atlanta and you're a huge company. If you're not experiencing 10% growth every single year, you actually went backwards. Well, no, Josh, we just grew slower. Call it whatever you want, but it, inflation's catching up to you. Because if, if sales, let's say, let's say you didn't grow 10% and you grew 5%. So now you're down 5% from what you were, but inflation is up 10%. You're going backwards. Even though on paper it says growth, you actually went backwards. And that's the crux of economics. That's the crux of business that nobody is teaching. Nobody wants to talk about, but it's reality. And reality is kicking us in the rear end right now, and we're experiencing it as one in three people are poverty, one in or two in four people are almost poverty. And people are running around saying, why isn't this job model working? Why isn't the job model working? Because jobs worked for your parents. Those long-term careers worked for your grandparents. But inflation caught up to and gobbled those up. So unless your employer decides to pay you about $280 an hour for the next 50 years, you need to find something else to do. All right, last segment of the show coming up. Back right after this. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. I need cash now to pay my bills. Then visit 800USAMoney.com or call 800USAMoney now. What? Get a cash loan now. Use your valuables to get a confidential loan without credit. You don't have to sell your valuable jewelry, watches, cameras, designer bags, all those valuables in your drawers, closets, and attic. Use your valuables to get a confidential loan now. Is this safe? Legal? 800-USA-MONEY and 800-USA-MONEY.COM are governed by the Truth in Lending Act, the Bank Secrecy Act, and we've served more than 20,000 customers for 90 years. Hmm, get a confidential loan on my valuables? How can I learn more? Visit 800USAMoney.com or call 800USAMoney. Don't suffer. Get the maximum confidential loan using your valuables now with no credit needed. Visit 800USAMoney.com or call 800USAMoney. What if pain could be reduced? Ailments could be alleviated. Physical and mental stress could be eased. And blood circulation increased. All by simply lying down? Introducing the original Biomat. The Biomat is an FDA-registered medical device that combines deep, penetrating infrared space-age technology and revitalizing negative ions with the incredible healing power of amethyst crystals. A Biomat can boost your immune system, relieve pain and stiffness, reduce stress and fatigue, and assist in detoxifying your body. Join the thousands of people reporting relief from chronic pain, fibromyalgia, arthritis, sports injuries, insomnia, and much more. Each Biomat comes with a lifetime trade-in and three-year warranty. Learn more at bio-mats.com, spelled B-I-O-M-A-T-S dot com. Or call 360-944-8692. That's 360-944-8692. Visit bio-mats.com today and enhance your life with a Biomat. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. 
Gun sales are on a staggering pace. Gun prices are going through the roof, and that means desperate, vicious criminals now want your guns and will do anything to get them. Now, a new book reveals powerful secrets for hiding your guns from thieves and looters. You'll learn step-by-step battle-hardened techniques, where to hide your guns so criminals will never find them, how to create the perfect hiding place, as well as the places you should never hide your guns under any circumstance. These and other closely guarded gun caching secrets are guaranteed to keep your weapons safe and out of sight when the going gets tough. But listen up. For security reasons, the Hide Your Guns book and even the website may disappear without warning at any time. Go to HideYourGuns.com. That's HideYourGuns.com. Or call 877-327-0365. Before they come for your guns. HideYourGuns.com right now. Right now. Right now. Healthy soils grow healthy plants. So before you plant your survival garden this year, is your soil healthy? Maximize your crisis garden soil with EM1 from Terraganics. EM1 organic soil conditioner, fertilizer amendment, and compost accelerant provides healthier gardens and faster, efficient garden composting. EM1 from Terraganics.com quickly improves soil structure by increasing nutrient availability and converting organic matter into soil humus. This improves seed germination and root growth, improves plant quality, size, color, flavor, nutrient value of fruits and vegetables and improves shelf life. And when rain is not in the forecast, no worries. EM1 improves moisture retention in soils, helping reduce drought stress. Just like you prepare all else, prepare your crisis garden for maximum yields with EM1 from Terraganics.com. Order now at T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Terraganics, life's getting better. Okay, last segment of the show, we'll cover some uh, some different things here. Jerusalem Post has a story about North Korea having tested a nuclear weapon for Iran, implying that Iran already has nuclear weapons. They're just hiding them somewhere else, testing them somewhere else so they don't show up. <gasps> Uh-oh. Does that change Donald Trump's opinion? Does that change what uh, approach we should take to Iran? No, not really. Uh, the reason I say no, not really, is because I don't think any of these candidates or these pundits understand multifaceted strategic movements. I don't think they do. I think that they think it's either Iran having one or Iran not having one, and that's as easy as the equation has to be. And it's not that easy. It's not that simple. Matter of fact, it's offensive to to think that we have to vote for candidates who think it's that easy. But it is a story. It is something to be paying attention to because that could have some significance to it if, if North Korea is partnering up with Iran to test nukes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That could have some uh, interesting outcomes. Now, Obama has broken yet another promise. I swear, man, if you're an Obama voter and you are still an Obama voter, you have got to see a shrink. Something is, is, is seriously wrong with you. You are suffering from Stockholm Syndrome or something. Anyway, Barack Obama has broken uh, his promise again. Remember, this is Barack Obama who promised not to, not to let lobbyists into his White House. He promised to have a corporate free administration. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Or as Al, or, uh, Al Pacino would say, liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm in a good mood, man. It's nice outside. I have a little bit of spring fever happening. Anyway, he appointed uh, Steve Reschetti, who was a lobbyist for companies like Fannie Mae and General Motors. Wow, those names aren't tied to the government in any way, shape, or form, are they? He has now appointed him to his administration to act as counselor to Vice President Joe Biden. What are we up to now, 43, 44 lobbyists as part of Obama's lobbyist-free administration? Matter of fact, I would like to see the, the percentage that that makes up of his administration because this is just getting absolutely crazy. And I'm serious. If you are... A Barack Obama voter. I really want to know why. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, asking that in hyperbole. It's not for, for comedic effect. I want to know. Go to joshtolley.com, J-O-S-H-T-O-L-L-E-Y.com. Let me know if you voted for Obama in the past. If so, why are you still going to vote for him in the future? Because everything he ran on in the past... 
He's turned on. He's lied about. He called raising the debt ceiling unpatriotic, yet he rose it. Risen it, rose it, he rose it. <laughs> Arose by any other name. I mean, it was at nine then, and he's like, no, no, no. We, we can't raise it. George Bush shouldn't raise it. If we raise it, that's just, that's just unpatriotic. Well, where's it now? Sixteen. The guy is a liar. I'm sorry, but if, if you have liberal values, this is not your candidate. If you care about the environment, this is not your candidate. If you care about union labor, this is certainly, definitely, most assuredly not your candidate. Yet there's so many people who are, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. I see my union boss is supporting him. He's got to be the candidate for me. Actually, he's the anti-union candidate. The union bosses are being paid off to support him. They're no longer caring about the union members because if they were, they wouldn't support the president who is, who's exported so many jobs that you could call this guy George Bush 2.0. You cannot be a union member and vote for Barack Obama. Not with any heart, not with any soul, not with any caring about your your brothers and sisters in solidarity. I mean Barack Obama's engaged in, in essentially union busting. <laughs> oh man, that made some people mad. But it's absolutely true. That's what he's doing. He's, he's, he's creating an environment that prevents jobs from being created here. It prevents manufacturing from being created here. Well, that is anti-union. Because if we don't have any jobs for union members, well, it doesn't matter how strong your union is, is it? The only people who are benefiting then are the people at the top, the people who are getting paid off. Unreal. People still support this guy. Matter of fact, uh, I, I'm finding out right now that we're going to be broadcasting from Madison, Wisconsin tomorrow. The home of the liberal fight. Perhaps we can find somebody to, uh, to come on with me. Now here in another story coming out of Detroit, filed under the I Told You So banner. Detroit, part, this, is the, this is the headline from Detroit news audit part of 11 million dollar grant for detroit job seekers only aided two people here's the first paragraph part of an 11 million dollar grant intended to provide business attire to 400 low-income job seekers instead helped only two people in audit of the city's department of human services found wait a tick 11 million dollars intended to provide business attire to 400 people what how much are they spending on business attire? $27,500 a piece? I think that's right. If that's right, I can do math fast in my head. Oh, part of the grant. Either way, okay, so here's this grant that did absolutely nothing. It bought some high-end furniture for, for somebody's office, $182,000 worth, actually. Well, Josh, why does this get filed under the I told you so banner? Remember months and months and months and months ago, probably July, our first month on the air, I said, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but we see these cities cutting police forces and, and fire support, firefighters. And it is not because of budget reasons. There's something else going on here. And everybody's like, no, no, it's about the budget. The economy is so bad, we need to cut policemen. Not if we're spending $11 million on things like better office furniture. Not if we're spending $11 million on a program that helped out two people. There is something else going on here. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I contend that what is going on, what we're seeing happen, is a dismantling of local law enforcement on purpose, targeted dismantling of local law enforcement. They're trying to corrupt them, and either disband them entirely or pervert their minds in such a way that they think that they're supposed to be some sort of federal extension. Because remember, all law enforcement officers now have federal power. 
Yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, Bush did that, actually. Allowed a cop to be a cop regardless of where they're at. And if you're a cop for 10 years, you're a cop for life, essentially. So there's this push, and we see it with, with the grants to get you know tanks for your private or for your local police department, and we see the push to get grants for drones for your local police department, and we see the training that the federal government's providing, saying that if people love the Constitution and the Founding Fathers, then they are terrorists. So we see this push for the federal government to influence law enforcement that remains, cut it in, in other places like Detroit, like Oakland, California, and blame it on the economy. Well, Josh, it's all for the economy. It's, it, we're cutting them because of the economy. Yet lo and behold, they're spending $11 million on a, on a project that helped two people. So I call BS. I will call your bluff. It's not about that. What it's about is creating an environment where the people of this country ask for martial law. <gasps> Josh, you're a conspiracy theorist. No, actually, it, it, it's already happened. It happened in Louisiana not too long ago. And I'm not talking about Katrina. I'm talking about recent. Local legislatures there are asking for the federal government to step in and send in the army to, to implement martial law because of the rise of crime. See, the federal government understands the power of things like the sheriff's office. They understand what Sheriff Mack was talking about in his books. And they want to get rid of that ability for you to be protected by your local officials. They take that away, create a buzz of crime, create a rise in crime, create insecurity and fear, say that we can't afford to have local law enforcement, and then you, then you say, please, 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 I need martial law because I'm so scared. Kid you not. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's not a theory. It's a fact. People are already asking for it. Chalk that one up to told you so. All right, my friends. Today, tomorrow, and as always, may your path lead to heaven and may freedom follow in your footsteps. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. Not too long ago, a friend of mine, Michael Zwirling, introduced me to Alex Jones, hoping he could help me with my health crusade. I must say that I'm beyond impressed that Alex Jones has become my hero. Just in case the secret hasn't gotten out yet, I want to tell you that millions of people are listening, and Alex is one of the most powerful driving forces in radio to date. We need everyone to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and join our effort to get this world healthy again. The InfoWar cannot be won with sick ground soldiers deprived of the basic 90 essential nutrients. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com and find out what the entire buzz is about. We can no longer rely on Big Brother for health care, so take action and go to InfoWarsTeam.com. Only you can take the steps to good health. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and prevent your family from getting sick and get them on the road to recovery. InfoWarsTeam.com. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. That's InfoWarsTeam.com.